have a proposition. If I can stay up for another half an hour to watch television... Listen, you come down those stairs just one more time. I pity the children you're gonna have. Yay! <laughs> A child like Albert makes you stop and think. Think about what? Well, for one thing, about, about not having a child like Albert. Well, how could you ever be sure? I mean, isn't having children sort of like taking potluck? Oh, no. No, it can all be worked out scientifically. For instance, if you wanted to have a blonde, blue-eyed child, let's say you did, it'd be the simplest thing in the world. Now, now do you know what it would involve? Yes, I have a, a pretty good idea what it would involve. You would simply have to mate with a blonde, blue-eyed man, that's all. Wouldn't I have to marry him first? Well, morally you would, but scientifically it's not important. Genetically, it's impossible for two blonde, blue-eyed people to beget any other kind of children. Beget? Isn't that a sweet word for it? It's biblical. Ray, you know so much about these things. If I begat with a black-haired, brown-eyed man, yeah. what could I expect? In the way of children, I mean. Well, scientifically, any combination of hair and eye color would be possible. That always be the element of surprise? Sure. Good. You know, Juno, I know how caught up you are in chemistry, but, but I think you're showing a real flair for genetics, too. <laughs> 